welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new please click the subscribe button and join the family the black family where you will get my life story times i guess and you also get tutorials makeup tutorials hair tutorials if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm glad to have you here so guys great news we just hit 1k subscribers i'm so happy like i don't know <laughs> i'm so happy you guys have been requesting the story time i'm gonna pin it right now it's pinned it's gonna be pinned on my tiktok it is on 1.2 million views so a lot of people were requesting that i should record it in english because a lot of people do not understand the vernac as you can see by the title of the video it's gonna get scary creepy it's gonna be horror i was dating this guy i was dating this guy for a couple of months if i'm not mistaken but my eight to nine months i was dating this guy for a couple of months and this one time i decided that i'm gonna go to his place because we've been talking we've been in a relationship it's high time we take it to the next step because we want to get into the va -va -voom of a relationship right cool i decided to go to this guy's place and then when i get there you know he didn't have a room outside because there were no bedrooms so he was sleeping in inside his room was inside the house like just like any other person's room in that house so i get there his family was around but i didn't get to see everyone because first of all i was shy when i when he's not he didn't really snuck snuck me in he just took me to his room passing the entire people who were sitting in the lounge you know so cool get to the room everything's fine i chill so we chill we talk everything is just fine right cool i could hear that they are cooking because when we pass by the by the kitchen to the lounge to the passage i could see the stove was on it was so quite early obviously i could see that the stove was on sure we talk we talk we talk we talk let's say around woman nine ish so um there was a knock on the room and then i think the person knocked and went back to the kitchen knocked like twice and he went back to the kitchen and then the guy went to the kitchen he was like i'm coming back i was like cool he went to the kitchen and then by the time he was in the kitchen i think that's when they were ditching up and stuff and stuff but he came back with two separate plates his plate of food and my plate of food food and now one thing that i've noticed about the food is that the pub they cooked was was yellow i just didn't understand but a lot of people oh uh, under those comment sections they were like nah sometimes people add rama so it turns a bit yellow so i was like uh, okay because with me i thought it's because i don't know people cook in different ways and since i'm devil a lot of people i feel like for me i eat pure pub without anything i want it white i know other people in other re in other sorry cultures they eat brown pub rather they prefer brown pub in some cultures they mix brown and white at the same time and just yeah and some people add salt some people add rama so at that time i just didn't know right cool i'm a little bit confused with you don't let's each other are we eating are we now eating pumpkin and she you know but i could see with it's pop but i was like mm, okay cool i ate the pop was okay nothing fun it was okay we ate but now also the second thing that i noticed is that when we were eating there was no salt to me not wanting to record anymore okay they didn't even attempt to put salt or any spices for that matter so i saw the guy eating comfortably and i was like okay maybe that's how it is i don't want to ask for salt i was like okay i ate guys i kid you know i tried eating but it was just too much for me and i was like um can i please have salt and he told me that nah we do not have salt we do not use salt in our food salt is not good he explained i just wasn't really paying attention he's like salt is not good for our what 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 so we don't really buy salt you know? okay fine didn't make a big deal out of it we're different and that's okay I ate, I ate, I ate, I ate. We were done eating. I remember he asked me to finish the meal. Like he was like, please finish everything in your plate. My my mom doesn't like it. My she will the plate. And when we leave food 
in our place which makes sense i understand wasting food is not that cool so um by the time i was done we were done we chilled in the room chilled in the room everything was fine time went by until Boma got out to 11. so got out to 11 we get to bed yeah we get to bed <laughs> We get, we get to bed, we do the things that have to be done and then we sleep, we fall asleep. I don't remember after how how long. Um yeah, but we end up falling asleep probably around twelve. One or twelve then. So tell me why when we are sleeping somebody knocks one, two, three and it gets in and it's like wake up, let's go do the duties. Let's go do the things that have to be done. And my boy knew and understood what she had said. And nah, I'm not from this household. So I don't understand anything. I beg of you. I didn't know what she meant. And I was annoyed because I don't like it when somebody wakes me up. Literally, I've been asleep for like an hour or so. She wakes us up. I'm like, the boy wears uh, that guy's way. Not a jockey, not an underwear. But it's an under something. But yeah, he wears that oh a boxer. Yo yo <laughs> So he wears a boxer. Where's a boxer and then Mna I'm getting I'm slow, Pel. Remember I'm slow, I'm so slow because I'm trying to transition go to what is going on. I don't understand. Do you understand? And then I then wake up because I'm naked to begin with. I pull, um, I pull my 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 undies and my things, and my clothes, trying to wear. Because I don't understand. And the only thing that I could wear at that time, it was my my underwear. But now the problem with my underwear is that it was a G three, so it wasn't it wasn't helping either. Later I was getting chased out of the house. It wasn't gonna help because you're practically <clears throat> yeah do you understand you're practically shoof, naked i'm trying not to get tiktok uh youtube to take down my video because of i don't know the protocols but yeah but practically out of clothes skin le like skin ass <laughs> all of the skin so um i pull it kapara i wear it after wearing the andy and she was like, nah, don't do anything, don't wear anything. My boy is not in the room. My boy went to the kitchen. Now, another funny thing, another, the third, okay, the fourth one, because the third one was to be awakened to the fact that they woke us up around 2 a.m. The fourth one, the person who was talking to us, she was topless. She was wearing a stofi, a stofi, a stofi. She was topless. And then from here, from the neck to the toes, she was super oily. So I could tell you to apply oil. She was super, super, super oily, shiny. You can't do, you can't do out. So, okay, fine. Mm, I'm like, mm, mm. I'm just not going to go to I'm not going to go to the wrong. Do you understand? I'm like, I'm in the wrong house at the wrong time. It's 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 not it's not giving right now. My life is in shambles. It, understand. It's something that is happening that I do not have full understanding of. You understand? So I I oblige. You know? I don't know why, but a part of me was like, I was just following the orders. Hey, it's not as peacefully as it's expected to be but i am peaceful about it i do ask a very good type of what is going on but also I don't dwell on the questions i just follow the instructions so the guy the guy my boyfriend comes back applies the oil yeah applies the oil applies the oil <laughs> to my toes <laughs> so, applies the oil to my toes so now i'm confused we're going to see how pingo too and i'm african I've experienced a lot of parano paranormal activities from a very young age. Ne? So the first thing that comes into my mind when such things happen, it's witchcraft. I don't care. I'm, I want to rule out which because I feel like it's the worst. Do you understand? I feel like it's the worst. 
unless vele so good say a house is burning okay yeah makes sense but there's no house that is burning you're waking me up at two why no, no, no. Why? Are there any intruders in the house? No. Because when now you seem very calm. You're even applying oil on my body. Ah, uh, uh. At 2 a.m., please, what would you think when... What is it that you would actually think for a person to wake you up in your partner's home or whoever's home, got 2 a.m. in the morning and apply lotion in your... and apply oil in your body? What is that one thing that's going to come straight to your mind? Yeah, to me, it came witchcraft... I was like, it's witchcraft, bang, law, and kosiami. And low key, as they were busy applying, as the guy was busy applying um, the oil, I felt like, bang, table. I don't know how to, I don't know what that is in English, child. It's, it's when, um, cove in English, it's when they make you. IUP abang fundisa anga mina lente tax abang fundisa anga kuti ino mukovunge English. In foods in my high school, they didn't teach me that. I also didn't learn it, so it's no one's fault. But um, COVID basically. Ah, uh, if I say it wrong, please correct me. Um, COVID, it's when. <laughs> I I don't feel dumb. It's funny. I don't know why. Um, umkovu. It's normally when they awaken someone who's dead or someone who has passed, and then they just raise them to work for them. So basically, umkovu. It's when they use you for hey for good to seven zele. Ha. You know what? Okay, yeah, I felt like they were gonna make me uncove. Sharp. Um, I'm in that situation by Ngoba and immediately after he was done, because Goko was there, the granny was there, the grandma. And then he she was like, she let us out. She was like, Okay, let's go. Sharp, we go, we go, we go. Now when we go by the passage, Nim, I could see that there there are those women standing there in a line. They're in a line. <laughs> We are joining the line. And you guys know. You guys know me. Sasha, um, we joined in the line. Me, Granny. Oh, Granny was number one. She was literally on the front line. Granny was on the flat front line. The second auntie had a dish. And the third auntie, no, the first auntie had a dish. The second auntie had two dishes. Um, with the, One with the towel inside. Like uh, washing clothes. A dish cloth, yeah, and then sharp. I joined the line. Uh, the boyfriend was uh, the second last, and there was a woman, Mama Fellow. So sharp, we go in, go in. When we go in, Gogo sets up stuff there that I don't understand in the room, and then sets up stuff, and then knew he she was kneeling literally when she was setting up everything. She did everything, she did everything, and then everyone was in. So we all came in, in that line, we came in and we made like a mini circle. So, a mini C, it's not a circle, it was a C. So guys, when I tell you from the passage, I was counting heads to see how many are we, who's this, you understand? So as I was counting, in total we were six. I was the sixth one, like the stranger, the, 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 the guest, I was the sixth one. So initially there are five and then I'm the sixth one. So. Ah, am I? As I'm looking around that 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 room, there's another head, but it's short. This thing is short, like literally short, like baby, two year old baby short, three year old baby short, three years old baby short. And now it had a bigger head, um, way bigger than a, a head of a baby for that size or age. So I'm an, I'm like, you see. This is exactly what I thought, witchcraft. And I'm scared, but also it's I'm not too scared. I feel like my subconsciousness is aware of what's happening and it's trying to react, but also there's this thing weighing my subconsciousness to to literally say run, do something, get the fuck out of that house. So I shop um 
when she was done ukoko to do all those things then she asked me to kneel she was like come here and kneel ukoko come here and kneel i bo i come and i kneel man that ukoko lapha um she hands me one dish that had a towel so inside it had a water but now the problem with the water the water was black eh we can go go the water was black it had things and got it wood so yeah and then <laughs> when i tell you that she was like put it like put it like this and then by the time i put it like this you see that small guy let's call that smoke utikolosh is bad so it's like you know that small guy that tikolosh came to me it washed the hands so basically i was helping the thing to wash hands i was helping that thing to wash hands and as it was washing hands what goko did was that she went to the scoop there was a drum she went there and she was so it is kind of weird but nebe thamuna tinyana she was hitting the drum hit like not too much and as she was hitting the drum there was something on the corner like got it a bigger drum on the corner when i told you that there was another head that was added into the room you guys will think i'm lying but as she was hitting it after some few seconds another head appeared and it came out it's a cousin or the brother or the sister of the other one of that ntonyela nyanyel so i was like you know what lindy in my brain i'm like you you're not dreaming you are not dreaming and you are not to react to whatever that is going on you are protected and you are covered by the blood of Jesus ne and now nothing is going to happen to you nothing bad is going to happen to you this is going to be an experience and that's it you're going to get out of this house in one piece untouched that's what i told myself rather that's what i kept on telling myself and then <clears throat> guys i know a lot of people tend to ask me to why didn't you pray at that point why were you not praying even inside do not know i also do not know because my first response when it comes to such things is prayer because eh sibali umoya kumele ngiwulwa ngomoya i can't the physical body can't really do much when it comes to spirit Do you understand the only thing that i can do is to pray but at that instant moment i couldn't pray i don't know why i didn't pray isn't those are bad why so fine um as it was coming out immediately when it got on the floor after it jumped out of that drum the granny stopped after she stopped she spoke to it in a different language i don't know and i couldn't hear because she was soft speaking soft and lower so yeah get it get it get it Kimo kakeng. I was like Kimo di shiteng. Kimo kakeng straight. So she yeah, it walks towards me and by the time um Iskuposima she was done hitting the drum the other one was done washing the hat, the hands and then the other one came to me to wash the hands also. But now as it washes the hands it was looking at my ouch guys I'm donating breast anyone willing to who needs fat uh, or breast but <sighs> it was washing hands it was looking and this thing doesn't have I don't think it can smile I don't think it has abilities of smiling at all because of how it's created to understand and guys when i tell you that i had a little bit of fear but i wasn't fearful like i wasn't as fearful as i am supposed to be literally to understand 
I don't know if there's something in this house that makes me not to fear or is this thing that they applied on my body or is it something that I ate in this house. I just do not understand. And now I'm so frustrated because I couldn't express my original emotions. But also I'm just like, I'm grateful I actually can't express them because we'd be talking a different story now. So after washing the hands, the granny comes to me like, on my thing on my side and then she gives she takes that that thing that dish of water and a towel and then she hands me and I, and I was about to stand up by the way I was about to stand up because I'm getting they gave me a dish so that they could wash hands so now I'm done let me stand up as I'm about to stand up she just like pushes me down She's like girl stay there and then she passed me a dish a dish and then that thing started eating started eating and then it would look at me like it was eating the very same food that we were eating but now in addition there was inyam and there was inyama it didn't like it didn't look like chicken it didn't look like pork it doesn't it didn't look like turkey it didn't I'm telling you, it didn't look like any other meal that I've eaten in my entire life, but it was it was meat. Now, when it's eating, it's eating. Ne? After eating, it will want to eat meat. Mean, I must feed it meat. So I was basically feeding it. It will look at me and then I'll take the meat and I'll feed it. Because I was a robot. I felt like, I don't know. I don't know what I was at that time. But I wasn't me. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Uh -uh. The original me, that was not me. Because I'm a coward and I'm a coward. I'm a coward. I'm a coward. Do you understand? Mm. So I, I feed her. I was feeding it. I was feeding it. It was done eating. Oh, another point before I forget. When the second one was eaten, because it did the same thing after the other one came, it did the same thing. Now, when the second one was eating, they were humming, all of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The humming was not too loud, but if you are in the room, you could hear it. But if you are outside, I don't think you could ever hear the humming. Yo, guys, I felt like there's someone or something. Yay! So sharp. The humming happened, and now I'm like, I boo. It's like, how many one, man? It ate, it ate, it ate. Now, I could see the difference between the first one and the second one. Ngariki is a king and a queen, like, confess, and daughter. Because I could point to good, they're not really the same, but yeah, there's that, yeah. So, there's slight difference that you can notice if you're closer. So, humming, humming until it was done. And I did also feed it in your mom. And then they passed me the dish again. I washed their hands and I wiped them with the cloth. Guys, when I tell you, it wasn't nice. It wasn't nice at all. Um, the experience was not nice. I wiped, I wiped, and then Ukoko went to the same corner, went to the same corner that she was at Shai Skupum. After Shai Skupum, it went to. It, the other one went back to the to the thing and to, to that drum that it came from and then the other one was just there and when i tell you who the other one was looking at me guys the other one was not looking at me direct it was looking at me it was looking at them you see this it was looking at this um but it didn't do anything fortunate enough and then i went to i just went to this trauma in that space of a moment um i was then released from ukoka it was too painful kneeling on the ground with nothing that covers the floor it was so painful i stood up uh Coco allowed me to stand up and then after beating allowing the other one to go rest or go back to the drum um whew, um Coco led us out uh, the other auntie aunties yeah they let us out Coco was remaining with the other thing in the room i don't know probably they were talking and doing their own things and then the aunties they let us out me and the guy went to the room guys it was 2 a.m probably by that time it was three 
we went to the room there was nothing i couldn't i could do first of all it's a distance from hey first of all at that time i knew what it was just time for witches so i wasn't gonna risk my life running off or wanting to leave all of the sudden me i wanted to leave child i wanted to leave to tell the tale please um yeah man and then me and the uh me and my boyfriend went to the room the same room went to his room and then i just looked at him the entire time because in my brain i was asking myself oh by the way i got a towel and i wiped myself off the oil um i was looking at him because first of all how do you bring me to your house knowing that you guys have certain practices secondly why me thirdly how could you do this to me fourthly do you even love me number five what is going on why did you do this to me how like i had a lot of thousands and thousands of questions and i ruled out the fact that he loves me because for a person that you love you can never do such a thing do you understand too um now the morning following and i slept guys now i didn't sleep as a person who was sleeping but i slept as a person who's in bed and waiting for the sun to rise yeah and then i got up in the morning i wore my clothes um he covered me he took me out but i didn't allow him to walk me as far as getting a taxi child and then i caught a taxi and i went back home when i got home told i told my friend oh i prayed the first thing that i did i prayed i told i told one of my friends but also i don't know because you know when you've experienced such a thing most people would think so i was scared what people might judge that side so i was like i'm not gonna tell anyone let, let alone my mom mm, no where was i going so from that point on I started for that couple of days. I ghosted this nigga. I ghosted this guy. <laughs> Yo, I became a ghost in his life. Like, nigga, ghost through me at that point. So I ghosted this guy. Um, and then there was a time I gave him a chance to speak to me because, let alone, as much as I'm angry, I don't want anything to do with him anymore. I want answers. I want closure. I want to understand what they were doing, you know. Were you guys initiating me? What was going on? Because I'm confused. Is this your ritual? You bring girls and this happens. I don't understand. What is? Was it out of love? Is it a tradition you would say if you're in a relationship for your parents' approval? You need to do such things because I had thousands and thousands of questions. But now, when we spoke, he didn't really necessarily want... He didn't really want to answer most of my questions. So it was always like... I would ask a question be like, nah, listen, I love you. I'm sorry that that had to happen to you. Ah, ah. Vetsu, I'm asking you, why did you not tell me? Why did you bring me? Because I could have came during the day and we do what we want to do and then we vie. We separate. Do you understand? Whew, guys, when I tell you that this boy, just the only thing that he could take out of his mouth is, I love you. Please don't leave me um just i love you so much i'm so sorry you had to go through that i did I, he was like i also didn't know it was gonna happen that night and i got confused because it looked like it's a tradition like literally literally because he didn't question anything had you not know what was gonna happen that day um surely i was gonna expect you i was actually gonna expect you to act on how oh, why today da, 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 but i know that you're lying so that point i was like you know what it's for over i can't do this anymore yeah, 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 yeah. me i'm a believer of god your shenanigans me your witchcraft cut me off no 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 cut me off because i don't even know how to use maria i don't want to lie i don't want to yay so from that point, I told him to yay. I don't want you anymore. I don't love you anymore. Jay, hey, 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 leave me alone. Go, go away. Tech, tech, tech. I just said it all. I said it all. I let everything out of my chest. Do you understand? And then he started making threats. It's like, remember that you wiped your body with 
my towel i haven't washed it yet so <laughs> continue doing what you're doing i'll show you who i'm who i am guys when i tell you which i was scared i prayed and i prayed and i prayed i was like no weapon no weapon is formed against me yay i'm cutting all ties guys literally 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 um and yeah man i blocked him i deleted i deleted him i literally wiped away everything so it's him um it's because, because me, i recently received um i wanted to create messages. this imagination of from an account existed. that has no, a familiar was, name he never existed name. probably was um, a dream yeah from so time. he sent me a what name. actually brought me to I'll youtube you today because i had already told yeah. the story to my I'll tiktokers yeah, yeah, yeah. and also if you're from my tiktok so shout out to you so this guy tells me Uguti, wait he sent the dms Yo, I think a week after I made the video, because I made this video about the story time, yo, I think a month ago, or in April, I'm not sure which month, but it was a little bit, I don't remember, July, June, yeah, remote, remote July, no, I made the story time either April or June, so he sent the thing in a week after the story time was released, and i didn't see it you know uguti messages go on instagram for people that you do not follow people that don't really follow you yeah oh for people that you are not friends with people that you do not follow their messages they go straight to message request right or spam is it hidden messages i don't know where but they just get lost there and i hardly open those messages unless i get when i'm bored i don't know what happened i have like a lot of social media so that is the least of my problems so nin there's a three days ago four days ago i keep sitting somewhere last week during the week um I just go through my Instagram. I go to my request message request. And then I'm like, I'm sure it can it can't be him because it doesn't have a profile picture. So I'm like, uh uh, it can't be him. Probably somebody else. And then guys, when I tell you, when I open, I see this humongous, I see this big chunk of message of paragraphs, like I think there were like three paragraphs, I'm not sure. And I was like, yeah, I'm fucked. I'm doomed. Yeah. But I was like, you know what? Nothing's going to happen to me because this boy is threatening me. And please, you can pause to read, by the way, what he was saying. He's threatening me with his force because, yeah, now when I lead the force is setting out. Huh? So I'm just like, I don't respond to him. For one, I refuse to have a communication with someone that I don't know, that I've never really met. Yeah, because remember, I've created that imagination which he does not exist for the longest time so I can avoid the feeling, you know, the trauma. So I refuse to acknowledge someone. Well, I am acknowledging him through the story time, but I refuse to acknowledge him furthermore. To an extent, you wouldn't call him and I, I can get mama smile. Mm -mm. What if this he's setting me on a trap? The minute I get my emotions out, the minute I text him back, doom, it collides. No, 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 no. it releases spiritual stuff, stuff. No, I refuse. In the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, I refuse. We are different thing. I refuse. So yeah guys that was the story time and if you were able to make it to this point to the end just know good say i love you yeah just know that i love you appreciate you a lot and um i couldn't have done this without you and yeah man my both my accounts, TikTok and YouTube, are doing quite well. And I'm so happy to announce that I'm about to reach 100k. We are about to reach 100k followers on TikTok. And I'm hoping to make a vlog about that. I'm so excited. And also, if you haven't followed me on my socials, I think I'll add my YouTube, my my 
Instagram and TikTok. Please go follow me on 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 okay, on Instagram. I also wanna be a birdie and post nice pictures and work with brands. So <laughs> please wherever you are in the world, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't like oh guys i do not know how much i should barking i do not know how much i should how much i can urge you guys to like the videos that you watch please like this video comment you can comment by saying showing love from zimbabwe namibia wherever you are you know or showing love from your area or your province i think that would make me happy tell me how you think of my storytelling tell me how you think about the story time just be nice though because we are going through a lot the last thing i need is negative comments coming directed to me um i just yeah man i'm so happy to be here and i'm glad i had the strength to tell the story time because low-key i couldn't tell it because there's something weighing me for the longest time that's why i kept quiet but i promise i'm gonna be consistent from now on and another thing that stopped me from telling story times i broke my iphone so i had to yeah you guys know so i got it fixed well it was a screen got it fixed so now everything is back and pashash tell me what you wanna here next yeah actually yeah which story time do you want me to narrate do you have any question because i do have a ton of story times let me tell you i have a <laughs> I've, I've been through a lot and i've been quite a curious girl like from an early age so i've experienced a lot of shit a lot of shitty things so yeah man just sit tight hold on subscribe i think your level of subscription will tell me if i should do more story time so what but in goku let me let me prepare for another story time because i owe it to you guys i need to deliver three story times this week well it's not gonna be a weekly thing but f just for this week because i need to get the numbers up you love me so much